Gucci penny nickels in the sofa. Mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real Marfa toy. It's not three, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, George World Podcast with Marvel Toys, man. We had to take a quick little break. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how you feeling? Everything good? I'm feeling great, man. Yeah, right? I told you it was going to get toasty. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely warmer than it was earlier. Pause. I'm just saying. Um, all right, so boom. All right, so just to give people like a little bit of the background, stuff like that. So talking off camera. Our off camera conversations are the coolest conversations. <laughs> And niggas would never, like, it's not what niggas want to hear about. So I, and I already tiptoed the line of what niggas want to hear about. So, boom. We was talking, and this is very light, but I feel like we can go deep on camera. Pause. Learning things by yourself. What was that like? Man, it was very difficult. I mean, I, I was raised in a single mother household, and um, I think I could have benefited from certain stuff like, Hey, people smoke weed. A lot of people smoke weed. It's mm. just this plant, you know. But because I was told, don't smoke weed, don't smoke weed, you know, it's like I had to find mm. out about weed on my own because my homies were smoking weed. So I just would, I, I feel like as a black man in America, <laughs> uh, Martin Luther King, here we go. I feel like as a man in America, every man, white, black, Mexican, Russian, whatever, you need a father in your life. You need a father mm. figure. You need a, you need, you need a male role model to tell you what it is to be a man because I just feel like that experience can never be emulated by a woman. Um, you know, judging from my interactions with my cousin, judging from my interactions with my father and my brothers, it's a whole different type of love. And I feel like when you're not um, accessible to that type of love, that you're gonna be destined to find it out for yourself what the streets is like, man. Like. Um, Letting your homie borrow five dollars. If I had a son, mm. which I think I might. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, uh, we don't know. If we don't know, but I'm just saying, I would tell him, man, don't be letting these dudes five dollars. Ain't nobody love you. Ain't nobody care about you. You got to be about yourself because that's the fly stuff about being a man. So, do you think that if you did have a kid, you would project any of your traumas onto him? Or would you just let it be like, you know what, he gonna figure it out as he go? I would try my best to let him figure it out as he go. And mm -hmm. I would be a vessel for all the information that I've attained from my life experiences, which I feel like I didn't benefit from because I didn't have that. Talk to him. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, until I got a foster grandfather that smoked weed regularly. Mm -hmm. And he taught me how you might have some band. You're gonna be smoking that shit for some for a minute. <laughs> and then when you get some good, you gotta mix it in with the band. Feel <laughs> 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 me? My mama couldn't teach that because she was like, don't smoke weed, but Right. So Okay, so alright, cool. So figuring out so tell us a time where it was like, I never thought I would be in this situation, but I'm in this situation and no advice, no one told me how it would be, but I had to figure it out on my own, and you did it. God, it's just a situation with the love of my life, mm. and it got borderline physical. George World Podcast, ladies and gentlemen, listen, we're going to be right. <laughs> no, it can't get, okay, all right, cool. No, that's some real shit. It's some real all shit. right, so listen, I'm going to let it fly. Okay, yeah, because I could have used a male role yeah. model in this sense. Uh, okay, all right, right? Cool. So, so, all right, so don't talk about that scenario. Yes. They don't want to see us win. Camera purposes. Okay. I'm going to bring you a scenario. Okay. And it has nothing. I don't even know this even happened. This okay. is all new to me. Yeah, daddy. A chick said, Hey, Omari. You like, yeah, what's up? Hey, bitch ass nigga. I need you to hurry up and get the dishes done. <laughs> like, how is that handled? <laughs> like, but how is it handled? You're about to be 30, bro. So yeah. it's like, I'm, I'm sure things are different. You know what I'm saying? During, during today's times versus how it was then. But, like, how would you handle that? Or how did it go? Well, how, how it went was... I saw on Omar, Jordan's off. I saw on O. You know, we in the O 
you know what I'm saying, the ozone layer. So uh, basically how I went before was, it was a lot of ego involved. Bitch, I ain't clean shit, that's your job, bitch. You know what I'm saying, that's how I'm coming. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like if you really love somebody, you know what I'm saying, you in a committed relationship, it takes both. So then you gotta go over in there, you gotta do the dishes, do the dishes, you feel me? Because whatever, you feel me, everybody's different. But a lot of times when you're younger, a lot of ego uh, makes uh, for some, you know, disturbance in the motion in the ocean, if you know what I'm saying. So, you know, a lot of times in the past, I would be very standoffish. But if it's some woman that I love, we have a good relationship, and I really love this woman, and we have that connection, then it doesn't matter if she does the dishes or I do the dishes because guess what? We both living together and that's what it is. Gotcha. So at a time when you wasn't thinking like that, what was your reaction? I really I ain't doing shit. Sorry, right, cool. So all right, and now we're just going to keep it going, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I don't even, this is like part three. All right, so boom. Would you call a female a bitch? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because let me tell you something about this interracial dating. Some of you uh, right. <laughs> don't have a problem all dropping right. the hard all ER. Right. All they, right. they, they drop the ER real quick. So, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, you know what I mean? Look, I ain't got no problem. You feel me? I'm going to say whatever. I'm going to say whatever to hurt your feelings if my feelings is hurt. God damn all right, so boom. Let's break that down. Why? Like, is that ego? Yes. All right, so boom. So, and, and I talk about this all the time. Like, how are you aware of something that you know is wrong, even to yourself, and you still do it? Well, you're not aware at the time. You're aware in hindsight when you look back. In hindsight today, a woman tell you, hey, bitch ass nigga, go in the, go in the kitchen. How are you handling it versus how you handle it back With then? With the information I have from hindsight, right? Yes. Well, there's a, lot of, today, 2024. there's a lot of variables. Did she come home from work? Was I working? It doesn't matter. Exactly. You just, all, all, the, all that you know yeah. is that she walked in the house and said, hey, bitch ass nigga, do the dishes. I'm going to do the dishes, and then the moment it's time. Even with do, bitch ass nigga being sick. No, I'm, I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to go, okay, okay. Jordan's World Podcast, World okay. Model Tours, nigga, stop fucking playing with let, me. Let, let me land. No, me... nigga. <laughs> a chick is not telling you no, nigga. Let me land. No. Let me Ain't land. no land, nigga. A chick telling you bitch <laughs> ass, nigga, I, 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 do the dishes, and you sitting I, up here talking about, yeah, all right, cool, I'm going to hold this. Nigga, no. If that's what the fuck you saying, cool. I tried to be cool and sit down the whole fucking time. Okay. Okay. Stop. But this is what I'm saying. I'ma be a bitch ass nigga. I'ma look at you. I'ma look at you. I'ma be a bitch ass nigga. I'ma be a bitch ass nigga. But at the same time, I said he was my cousin. The very next day, when the dishes do, I'm hitting you back with the same energy, and that's when my cousin talked. Now we bitch ass niggas. Now we doing this whoop the whoop. Okay, because whatever you do to me, I'm going to do to you even 10 times more. So, okay, if it's someone I love, they come in tripping on a power trip, they tripping on the dishes. All right, cool. I'm going to let you win the battle, but I'm going to win the war in the long run. I'm going to really terrorize and haunt you. That's how I'm coming, because I'm very vindictive. So that's the difference. You but see, me? why do you, and see, that's what I be trying to tell me. And that's like, the ego. That's listen, the <laughs> bingo, like, right? So I'm already tight that you call me a bitch-ass nigga. So we ain't even get to the dishes. The dishes never even, the, the dishes is the last thing we talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The la that's the last of our concerns. The fact that you think that you can say this to me is our problem. You know what I'm saying? Like and that, like and the dishes get done whenever they get done at that point. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, if that was to happen to me, absolutely not. I tell you what, my new slogan for the rest of the year. Hey, I'm out, my nigga. That's it. Ain't nothing to talk about. I don't give a fuck <laughs> about nothing. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Save all your sentiments. For the sentiments, my name is Jordan, and I'm an African American male. <laughs> like I don't play them games, nigga. I and I got the same time for everybody. I don't give a fuck. My father texts me every day, nigga, and I don't respond, nigga. I don't talk to niggas, period. And, and, and all I'm gonna tell niggas is, hey, when niggas wanna reach out today, it's probably gonna sound and feel a little different than it did a week ago. Cause you done fucked it up, and look, you ain't gotta like it. Nigga, but you gotta respect it. Sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up.
the smartest thing what I what tell is. my kids that all the time. And they'd be like, hey, yo, dad, you know, uh, like I got in trouble in class. I'm like, oh, what'd you do? Oh, you know, my teacher told me to do this and do that. And I was like, what did you do? He was like, oh, like, I, I had to say, like, why you want me to do it? And it's like, all right, cool. So now your teacher got to talk to me because you wanted to say something. Shit, so now man. I got to stop what I'm doing yeah. while I'm at work to talk to your teacher about some bullshit you're doing. And is it worth it for me? That's what it is. Niggas is always willing to sacrifice the world <laughs> when they ain't got nothing. Throw it all the way. Yeah. Throw it all the way. You have something to lose. You have to think about all your decisions. So for me, I let shit go for like at least twelve hours, and you gonna get, <laughs> you gonna get twelve. <laughs> and I'm you, the only thing, the only thing, my allergies popping too. The only thing I'm thinking about is not to be me. Back to going to work. Nigga, if I was at work, how would I do this? Oh, nigga, bump into me. I was like, all right, it's cool. But that same nigga gonna ask me where something is, nigga. Hey, you go over there the whole other aisle. It ain't even where it's supposed to be. Nigga, I ain't tell Now I got my get back. Now I'm gonna be vindictive. Cool. I saw on Jordan. Look, vindictive? No, girl. Look, I, this shit is forever. However you spell it, nigga. I didn't graduate high school, nigga. I'm like, but I'm just saying, nigga. I ain't got, listen, when I stand on it, 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 it stood on. All you got to do is just be like, damn, nigga, he for real. And all you're going to do is see this nigga face. I'm for real. The fuck out of here, nigga. No. Join this world podcast. Nigga, this shit's dying. Hey, we on 2%. Still got 20 more minutes, nigga. Hey, nigga. What you got? Man, all I got is, man, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, pep the, uh, pep the work ethic, man. I really want to take this time to big up. You feel me? All right, man, the battery's about to die, man. We're not going to shit on my moment and the camera cut off. So we're going to switch this battery <laughs> and be right back. From my coach, a penny nickels in the sofa. Mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real one for toy. It's not three, buddy. <laughs> Man, on none of that shit, we talking about real shit, real people, real reflection. And guess what? You can even show this to your kids, bro. That's the, that's the whole thing. Like, this shit is like, all right, back. Hey, Jones World Podcast, so look. This shit is like, and I was thinking about this shit the other day, like. They don't want to see us win. It's really like a diary, you know what I'm saying? So at a certain time in my life, it's like, oh, you, you can see, because I've given it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, being vulnerable or whatever, like, that's what it's about. Like, it's self-reflection. So I can talk about my life, and then you think about your life. And then you're like, damn, like, shit kind of crazy. Oh, maybe this do make sense or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm about. I'm always about helping niggas. But at the same time, as much as I want to help people, in my real life, it's like, nigga, I ain't trying to help nobody. I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas. Shit like <laughs> you know that. what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I'm like, like I'm kind of in like a like conundrum that. of like, do I just give it up and be cool? Like, hey, you know what? I experienced this. I experienced that. You may have experienced this and you could have handled it this way or that way. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really like to do that. Shit like <laughs> well, that. No, shit niggas like be that. stuck shit underneath like the rock like Patrick. Like well, hey, they don't man, see the Jordan, big picture. <laughs> they don't see the big picture. Jordan's and if you're right. saying niggas faking a fraud and then acting like they got whatever they got, and then they shit on a nigga trying to make it out the mud, and that's what we not about, right? We over here getting it out the mud, hustling every day. Now, if you notice, you feel me? You don't miss a certain what day? What is it? Wednesday? Wednesday Thursday? Yeah, you don't miss a certain Wednesday. Wednesday you you know. feel me? It's it's shot, cut, and sent to you, bro. So you feel me? When people try to downplay the work ethic, your work ethic isn't as you feel me, ill as this man work at this. You feel me? So fuck the niggas that be underneath the rock and got something to say about a nigga when a nigga been chill, a nigga just been minding his own motherfucking business and trying to do what the fuck he been trying to do. And if I'm gonna support anybody, I'm gonna support my motherfucking cousin, nigga. So it's it's fuck the other side, period, bro. You feel me? I ain't having none of that. You got something to say about my cousin? You got something to say about what model for toys? Hey, it's all going hammer. You know what you get with my content, bro. It's up. Shit like that. Shit nigga. like I'm that. Really shit crash like that. out about shit that, like that, that shit, bro. And I mean that shit. And we can put that on wax. We can put that on camera. And we can cut that. It don't even matter to me, bro. I'm going to let niggas know. Get up out that rock. Get up out your feelings. And build with us. You feel me? Fuck niggas, man. Fuck niggas. <laughs> Alright, look, we'll just keep going. Alright, look. So when like when niggas do some bullshit, they'd be like, alright, cool. Between the parties, whatever. Like, alright, cool. We wrong with that. Like, it's between them two or whatever. When shit starts spilling off and spilling out now, it's affecting too many people. 
And when, once it, once that energy of negativity travels over here, and travels over here, and travels over, it's just like, yo, my nigga, I ain't even feeling the vibes. I can't even, you know what I'm saying? And some niggas get that energy off. And when niggas do that, you said that last time. The streets went a long time ago, man. You just gotta thug it out, hey man, and, and move on. But niggas ain't. I like the last time I tripped over a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Nah, I get it. Thing, nah, it, but you just gotta keep doing it though. Look That's why I tell you all the time. Just stay consistent. Keep posting. Keep dropping. Cause niggas is watching. Everybody paying attention. Especially when you know you got that energy. It's like, oh, niggas is the sauce. The niggas will see a shit and be like, oh man, oh man, you wildin' right now. But like, did you see the other shit too? And they be like, oh yeah, now nah, I seen when you did that. But like, but you didn't call me then though. Niggas only want to call you when it's a problem. Not nah, call me when hey, nah, hey man, what's going on? I, I yeah. see, I see yeah. shit. What's going on? I see shit. Yeah, yeah faking and fraud. Nah. Cause you don't really care. You don't really care about what niggas is going through. Let me tell you something, bro. At the end of the day, bro, it all could be settled in pull-ups. How many pull-ups do you niggas doing, bro? <laughs> Let me know that, bro. Right? Now, look, like, I had an ex. I'm going to make it personal. Ice on the mark. Look, I had an ex. You feel me? She got with somebody else. Can he do more pull-ups than me? No. So she downgraded, bro. It's three more plates. I know. Here we go. Here That's it. Right back. I was trying to go. Listen. Here we go. Look. That's it. Look. That's it. All right, look. Draw one well pocket. So, We're right, giving it up. All right, cool. So, so, many will say, including myself. Okay. That's hate. That's fact, nigga. Look, and I'm a hateful, <laughs> spiteful <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> That don't make me. That don't contribute to none of this here. If it, if it ain't if it ain't my people and if it ain't nobody that's building the positivity around me, I hate them. Mm. And it could be the random motherfucking old man on the sidewalk, you know, in his feelings about whatever. I hate anybody that ain't got nothing to do with this side. You feel me? I'm dedicated and devoted. You feel me? I pledge allegiance to the gang. Shit like that. And that's shit what like it that. is, bro. Shit it's like one that. side, like no side, bro. And when it come down to it, I'm riding for mine, bro, and I'm validated, bro. You feel me? So that's what it is, bro. Like, you feel me? We ain't fucking with this side, bro. We ain't fucking with you, period. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who it is. And I'm hating all them. So back to that. Alright. So boom. So now, alright, cool. This is this is perfect. Uno card down now. Reverse. Mm. So boom. So when niggas hate on you, is it cool? Yeah, because I know what it is. I was already hating on them before they hated on me in the first place because it's, it's nah, no, pledge no, allegiance no, to the gang. We no, don't feel niggas. But I'm saying though, and we not all right, cool. Let's take the outsiders out. Yeah. Let's just say a random person. You post whatever content you post. Tell the people what you post so they know what to look for. I mean, I post my music. I I post my music. I post my videos. I direct my own videos. I I, I mix and engineer my own vocals and shit like that. So I, I it's all music. If one thing you want to know what I'm trying to get to the point to is the music. So that's that that's it. And I got a lot of niggas that pinpoint and guess what? You feel me? It's us versus them. You feel me? Hammerhead squad, you feel me? Somewhere in McHenry, Illinois, you feel me? That's that, that's everywhere on iTunes, Apple Music, you feel me? Uh, you know, all the links is going Spotify. To be you feel me? It's there, you feel me? Hammerhead Squad. We all hammerheads, cause I'm from San Jose, I'm a certified shark. And the niggas that I done been with and that I done came up with have had love for me from day one. Mm. Even if we had to squabble to get it, bro. So it's like, bro, if someone's hating on me, it's already off the bat. And I'm expecting every one of my niggas to have my back, too. All right, so boom. I love that. Here we go. Scenario. Boom. boom. Yeah, I'm dead. If you don't like somebody yes. who's considered an outsider between the friendship that you have with another person. Yes. If they continue to be cool with that person, how do you feel? I don't know. I feel like uh, you have stepping. Shit like that. And you know. Like that. Like and well, uh, how I feel like, I feel like I'm the tribal chief. So my word is final. If I say somebody bad, they bad. If you choose to mess with them, I'm looking at you a certain way. Now, depending on who you are, you feel me? 
we can work that out. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when it does come to show, because I'm usually not picking on people. I love everybody. And if I don't like somebody, it's for a reason. And you feel me? If you go with those people, which has happened before. All right. You feel me? Now, I'm going to let you find out. I'm going to let you find out. And then when you find out, don't come back to me because I already told you what it was. You feel me? You already right. knew what it was. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, for the most part, if I don't like somebody, bro, I just let them, I just let them live. For sure, I'm blocking them. Mm. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm blocking. Block. giving me heat all. Oh. No, I'm blocking them, bro. I don't want to see your Thanksgiving. So I don't want to see your Christmas. I don't see your baby born. I don't see none of that. If I'm mad at you, I'm going to block you because you ain't popping up on my news feed. And you can feel some type of way about it because if you block on iPhone, you can still hear Star 67. And, and, or you can still hit somebody and hit me if you got a problem. With shit, it, like you know? shit like so that. Fuck all shit that. Shit like that. Shit, I'm not shit sitting like here. Shit Niggas like be talking to their ops. I'm not that nigga. I'm not going back and forth with you on the live. I'm not going back and forth with you on the FaceTime. It is what it is. And when I see you, I'm going to keep the same energy I'm keeping right now. So a lot of people, they be talking. You feel me? I don't call people at Oak Ridge Mall in San Jose, California on the south side. It was up on Facebook. You saw me. I was tripping. You wasn't even ready. You feel me? And that's how a lot of niggas be. You feel me? I'm, I'm a suck. I, I, ain't, I ain't the biggest, baddest dude. But at the same time, you feel me? I keep it 100. Shit like that. Shit like, like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. A whole lot of... I do it for the coach. Now all that that you heard is because this is my cousin. And I don't want to... I don't, we gonna, you know, well, hey, hey, you know, and I don't want to bring it to that, but I'm just saying that for the youth. Because there's youngins out here that's faking the funk. We talked about that earlier. You know what I'm saying? Right. You feel me? You feel me? Just be yourself. Right. Just be yourself. Shit like that. 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 But no, hold on, stop this, bro. I could have been a bully, but you feel me? This is a gentle giant. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? I don't respect people like that. Um, you deal with people like that every day in work. People talking to you crazy and this, that, and the third. You got to duck the fade a lot of the times. But sometimes when it blow up, right. now you the bad guy. Well, you know, you got to just be able to hold that. You know what I'm saying? Most people, you know, when it comes to certain decisions in people's lives, like, as I get older, like, I try not to live with, like, a lot of regret. Like, oh, man, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just be like, ah, oh, nah, I kind of did that, and it just is what it is. Yeah, I don't regret nothing, bro. I don't regret nothing. But how do you get to the mindset of not doing it? Because you have feelings, right? Well, no, because you look at the results. Mm. You look at the results, what it got you, and you say, okay, I can't do that anymore. But if you look back, you regret why you did things. You just, you're putting in negative energy that you don't need to put in. Focus on the future. Oh, don't focus on the future. Focus on the present, what you can do now, man, and press forward in the moment. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you know, you, you, you got to meet opportunity <laughs> halfway. And, like, sometimes you don't take advantage of it. You know, it might be a chick, but, like, oh, wow, you smell good. And you just be like, oh, yeah, not nah, work. And then you go on about your day and it's like, look, could have had something. You know what I'm saying? Could have had something. But insecurity. So, and I want to end it. It's so hot in here, bro. Like, I'm sweating paws. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm nah, that's just that's peace, my dude. <laughs> All right, cool. So, uh, we usually, you know, what I mean, try to be vulnerable. Yeah. Do you have any insecurities about yourself? Absolutely. From 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 uh, the yellow teeth. <laughs> wow, he's just giving it up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. Hey, George, one pocket. George, one pocket. Hey, this here. is crazy. You feel me? I feel like my, my teeth could be bright or white. Uh, I was born with uh, permanent uh, baby teeth, so I'm a nigga that's 30 years old with baby teeth in his mouth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was supposed to have the Denzels. Would you get surgery for your teeth? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm, but it's 4000 so you feel me? I work two jobs and pay bills. I'm trying to work on that 4000 for this. I'm going to get the front floor. <laughs> well, I just got the bank. I just got the bank. So what he coming in? He's going to be like, damn, he's got the front floor. You can't, you can't get four teeth. You can't. No, I know. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't, you cannot get four teeth, bro. You gotta at least get the top six and the top bottom. I mean, the bottom six. Well, 
the the way my teeth set up, I actually got good teeth, right? <laughs> I don't have no cavities. I haven't been to the dentist. I went to the dentist for the first time in 10 plus years, and I mm. don't have no cavities. Because one thing I do, which a lot of you females that got opinions about dudes don't do, is I brush my teeth every morning. God damn, God damn. I, <laughs> I, met a, I met a Filipino chick. She was bad, man. She had a rotten tooth right here. Hold up. Niggas didn't know. <laughs> Did you do you brush your teeth at night too? Uh, yeah, no, I brush my teeth at least once a day, Hold and I brush it for more than two minutes. And you feel me, it's been enough to where when I did get my teeth clean, they said, hey, you ain't got no cav cavities, you feel me? I know, I look, one good time a day, and I take one shower a day, too. You ain't got no yeah. hey, stop. Stop. You can't, no, you can't do that, bro. I've been doing it. You, you shouldn't, you definitely shouldn't have said that. I should have said it, and I said it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Yo, one time a day is crazy. What do you eat? What, all right, what is your food? All right, cool. So you wake up in the morning, boom, brush your teeth. Now, what is your meals like for the rest of the day? So the meals is completely unscheduled, but at the most part, when I'm in control. Let's say today we have to have today breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What What is it? No, I'm not having breakfast and lunch and dinner. All right, cool. So what do you eat? I usually have one meal a day. One meal a day. All right, so what is that one meal? It, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it differentiates, right? So Man, just give us one, nigga. I mean, you know, chicken, rice, beans. Chicken, rice, uh, beans. Uh, cool. What time of day are we eating this? Talk to them. Twelve p.m. All right, cool. So we got twelve p.m. You eat chicken and rice. Yes. So at eight thirty, nine thirty, you got a date with old girl. Bringing that back. Come on. You didn't brush your teeth again, or are you just raw dogging? I'm raw dogging, cuz. Join this world podcast, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. Before you go out on a date, you take a shower and you brush your teeth, nigga. You're not brushing your teeth at 8 o'clock. No, no, listen. I've never been told I had bad breath No, no, because they didn't want to tell you. They didn't want to tell you. You can't do that, bro. And I'm gonna cuss. I'm telling you. Look, 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 look. I'm going on that limb. You feel me? Um, most I'm gonna do, most I'm gonna do is probably mouthwash it. You feel me? I'll mouthwash it just to get that fresh scent, no, no. chew the gum. Yeah. But I usually brush my teeth really good in the morning, so that's for sure. Yo, listen. I don't know what's going on right now. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Yo, listen. Okay. So the camera's on. Yeah. So you brush your teeth in the morning. It's a Friday. You go to work Friday. You off for the rest of the night after 5 o'clock, nigga. You done had lunch. You been eating little candies. They got peppermints in the little jar next to the off. Oh, cool. I'm rolling. Nigga. 8.30 to date. You thugging it out, raw dog in the mouth, my nigga? Raw dog. Yo, oh, oh my God. Yo, <laughs> like, join as well, podcast. I'm no. raw dog. Because look, no, now, now, no. now, now. Say no. it. No, you say it on camera. No, no, no because look. I'm now, not next to you. No. Go. Now, now Go. if my breath, I can tell my breath is kicking, then of course, I'm going to do that because I know I'm going to be with Shorty and I'm know I'm going to be woo woo But no. for the most, of the most of the part of the day, my breath don't be funky. Cool. God damn, God damn. All right. We gonna keep going? Yeah. Cool. Do you drink soda? No. Gotcha. Do Absolutely drink not. Do you drink juice? No. Gotcha. Absolutely no. not. You drink alcohol? Sometimes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, boom. Scenario. But then that would be assisted where I would brush my teeth because I know I'm smelling like alcohol. But for the most part, right, I don't be drinking alcohol. I, I drink right, water. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So you said the shower once a day. God damn, God damn. Routinely, this this is this is routinely. Like I'm gonna shower once a day, and I shower before I go to sleep. Why is this happening right now? I got <laughs> I always think that when I talk about the shit I'm talking about, it's gonna be this deep, boring conversation, and then you do this type of shit. Like <laughs> we've never done this before, but this is like content gold. Okay, scenario time. Okay, <laughs> boom. You wake up, let's just say 8 o'clock. This is, it doesn't have to be factual. You wake up at 8 o'clock, you take a shower. Uh, no, because I've already taken a shower the night before. So I wake up and I'm out the door. <sighs> oh my God, what, what is what is happening right now? All right, cool. What time do you go to sleep? Usually 10 p.m. Cool, 10 p.m. So you take a shower at 9 o'clock? No, I usually take about like 8. Cool, so 8 o'clock you took a shower. Yeah. Boom. You're now sleeping 8 to 8, 12 hours. Yes. Marinating. I'm not. I'm, I, I sleep with the window open and the fan on me, so I'm very anemic. 
Well, I mean, like, I don't know the word for it, but I like the cold, so I don't sleep in the warm, so I don't sweat in my sleep. And if I sweat in my sleep, I can't sleep. So. Cool. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, crazy. No, so this whole weekend has been, like, a mind opener for me. Like, I, I'm on the shit. All right, so cool. It's Ooh, this is AJ. We're going to AJ. <laughs> you go to work. Yes. You get off work eight hours, you four thirty, five o'clock. Mm hmm You got a date. You take him a shower before. Usually, yes. Cool. Your friends say, hey, you know what? Let's go have happy hour right after work. You don't have time to change. It's just right the bar is right across the street. No, usually if I if I'm drinking, I'm gonna brush my teeth so the bitch don't know I'm drunk. That's just that's off the bat. All right, cool. You feel me? That's off the bat. That's off the bat. Yeah, like, so I'm not. If you don't drink, you're still thugging it for a day and a half. Exactly. I mean, it ain't no day and a half. Enjoy this world podcast. It ain't no day and a half. 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 It I ain't got no rotten teeth, no nothing. Uh, Lady said, I don't need the cavity. She, I mean, the, uh, <laughs> the caps. She said, I don't need the caps. All right. She said, you can just rock right. like that. So, All right, cool. All right, let's flip it. Boom. Okay. Have you ever been to a chick house and it was dirty? Yes. Okay. What were some tattletale signs where you was like, I don't think she's as clean as she presented herself downstairs? So, so, so I fucked. Mm. With a condom, threw the condom on the floor, went to sleep. We woke up. She never picked the condom up. I love you from a distance. Enjoy this world. My God, it's so hot. All right, cool. I, I want to stop. I really, we need to stop. It's over. We did it. We out of here. Listen. All right, listen. Hey, this nigga is crazy. All right, so, because there's people who are going to be commenting, one person probably, but. <laughs> They're gonna say, yeah. but you was cool with throwing the condom on the floor. Because it ain't my shit, cuz, and I'm just throwing the bitch in, and that's just what's gonna happen <sighs> for me. We ain't got no love for no bitch until the bitch prove herself. You See, all you just lost the whole female audience right there. Look, they was rooting for you. Look, 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 look. I was a stand up guy, but I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. If, you, I, if I'm going to the club, and I'm trying to fuck something, and then I go home with something, and I'm trying to fuck something, it ain't the same thing as if, hey, I not you, got your number, was really feeling you, been talking to you for a second, and then we will do it. But when it's a one-stand situation, you get no love. You feel me? You get no love. But no why, though? Because women, women are... Because I ain't got time for that, bro. I'm not trying. If you're just trying to get, you feel me, with the whoop look, at the end of the day, it was already messy. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in there. <laughs> so when I threw it, <laughs> if it's nice, I ain't gonna throw that shit right there. <laughs> so, nigga, when I went in there, it was already. But when I noticed, you didn't even notice it was on the floor and you didn't pick it up. I said, oh, she's nasty. She's a nasty girl for real. No vanity. Uh, pun intended. You feel me? Join this world <laughs> podcast. That's some real shit. Hey, all look, hey. all right, look. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's so hot. The streets won. We got four minutes. All right, so, could you please give the youth any information that could be valuable to them that years from now, maybe somebody can hear it and be like, oh shit, like, you know what I mean? I should be on that. Like, what you Hey, honestly, um, I would say just getting them books, man. Getting them books, read something that's written because a lot of times that's the type of information that a lot of people miss out on in life, man. And, um, you know, we try to, as fathers and older cousins, try to give you the game from experience, but really all this stuff is already written down. And um, if you can take our experiences and use them for your advantage, like me, I used to play football. I could tell a young brother how to go to camps, you know, get into the Nike camp right here. You'll get looks at scouts. Take that information and use it, bro. But at the same time, do your own research. If you ain't researching your own stuff, how to take an engine out, how to uh, put a game together and all the stuff, when it comes time to do that stuff, you're going to be looking for somebody else to do it and you're going to be lost. So continue to uh, take the information and now soak it in and use it as young as possible. Okay, man. You know, you heard it, man. Make sure you like <laughs> 
subscribe, join us world podcast, my motherfucking cousin, nigga. He was like this tall at one point. Yeah, old going hammer, bro. You already know what it is. The hottest rapper from my jurisdiction, period. Can't nobody fuck with me in that shit, bro. Excuse my language, we can bleep that. But I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. I'm really nice. This the best podcast going, bro. Northern California, bro. Don't listen to them other cats. Don't go nowhere else. Go right here because we talking about life experiences and stuff that you could relate to, bro. There ain't nothing else out here that's as potent as what Mr. Jody Bear got going for him. Come on, man. Show the vibes, man. Uh, Will my other toys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out O Going Hammer without the G on the end. You know what I mean? O Go In. Hammer than your favorite rapper. He go in, hammer than your favorite rapper. Check yeah. him out. Spotify, Apple Music, all that shit. You know what I mean? Make sure you liking and subscribing to all the shit he got going. I'm co signing the shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even bring niggas on this motherfucker or even take time to even do what we had to do to get this shit done. You know what I'm saying? My motherfucker cousin, man. It's like a little brother to me. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we did it. We, we got a three-parter. Next time you see me, I'm going to have dreads. So like, I'm good for three weeks. Like, I, I ain't recording shit for three weeks. It's over, you know what I'm saying? This is the way. New video coming soon, too. No pressure on the videographer in case he make it to this part. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got this shit popping. Uh, it's going to be broken down into three parts. So watch every part. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we're my tours. Oh, going hammer. You show the fucking ah, 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 all that you are. You are watching a master at work. I do this from my culture, penny nickels in the sofa. Mommy watching Oprah, daddy in the kitchen with the soda. It's real wonderful toys. It's not three, buddy. <laughs>